Hi students, welcome. This is Varsha ICC Max. So irrespective of the board, CBC board, ICC board or state board. So finding the square root you will see in many of the places. Okay, so in this video I am going to take square root of 5. See this is from the lesson quadratic equation 5th lesson. So after seeing uh, the full video you will able to find the square root of every single digit number. So this is 5, so I am going to take root 5. Okay, so what is root 5? 5. Okay, so this is a single number means give a long line. Okay, students. So before that we have to know the perfect square. What are the perfect square? 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 8 is a 64, 81, 100, and 121, 144, 139, and so on. Okay, 196, 225. So, yeah. Okay, so first you have to memory this uh, perfect square still 20. So, it will be uses, useful for your higher standards. Okay, see, this is the perfect squares. So, what is the root of 5? Okay. So the fourth square root is 2. Ninth square root is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. Okay. So what is the square root of 5? So we are going to find that number. Okay students. So before that you can give a bar to this number. The bar is to take a pair. But 5 there is no pair here. So this is the only number. Okay. So we need some decimals. There is no decimals. So give a point and give some decimals number 0 0 you can give any if zeros okay so depends upon the question so if they ask uh, write to correct two two decimals okay two three decimals so if you are if they ask three decimals there is you need four of pair of zeros okay if two decimals there is no this is need uh, enough okay okay so now 5 is the first number so first step is what is the perfect number number under the bar see what is the perfect number perfect square before 5 so before 5 this is 4 and 1 so which is near by 5 yes 4 so what is the square root for 4 that is 2 so this is 2 and 2 so 2 2's are 4 see ma this is your first step so finding the perfect square before the number under the bar and you have to write the square root of that number okay so 2 2's are 4 and subtract you will do the usual thing see 5 minus 4 that is 1 so 0 0 okay so give the decimal also here this is 100 okay so what is the next step see you are going to write this number okay so how will you write this is the quotient step okay so two twos are four and give a box here okay ma so listen carefully so this is box box okay so i am going to give a box number finding randomly to get hundred see four box and box so if i give four threes or it will be 120 so two see four eight four if you give a box just multiply see if i giving three so what do you get ma three threes are nine this is four threes are twelve so this is greater than okay so hundred so you have to choose 84 so when you get 84 when you give 2 in the box so this is 2 and 2 so 2 into 42 you get 84 okay so now subtract 100 minus 84 this is 16 yes okay okay now next pair of zeros okay decimals so this is 1600 and go this side how will you get this pair yes what is your number 22 so when you 22 multiply by 2 you get 44 and give a box 
and give a box okay so now find 44 box if we give one that is 441 okay so 44 box 2 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 8 Again, I am giving box. Okay, this is 3. 3, 3 is a 9. 4, 2 is a 12. 1, 16. Okay, so 4, 4. See, multiply. And get, what do you get by 4? So, 16 by 1. This is 17. 1, again 4. This is 17. So, see students, when you give in the box 4, you get greater than this number 1600. So, you have to give... 3 okay so this is 3 and 3 so 1300 genus again you subtract 1 this is 9 minus 2 that is 7 6 5 5 minus 3 so and so on students okay so you get to your root 5 so what is the answer 2.23 so this is what our square root of 5 so do you understand this step okay so answer you have to write like okay so in the next video i will give you the four digit number this is a single digit number okay i hope you all understand thank you